is also knows his way around the guitar. In fact, uh, when I met him years ago, when he was a KU student, he was uh, frequently on campus with his guitar. And uh, we eventually actually shared a house over on Ohio Street for a summer. Uh, I lived downstairs, he lived upstairs. And I never let him forget the chick magnet that he was. I mean, this guy drew women like flies to honey. Uh, and at the same time, he's a pretty good musician. And over the years, I don't think he draws as many women as he used to, but he draws a lot of fans to his music. And we want to welcome him to the Kansas Music Hall of Fame, and his name is Chet Nichols. for 28 years to my wonderful wife, Nancy, so uh, I, I knew how to settle down with the right gal. Uh, back in 1966, I was going to school at Oklahoma City University and uh, wasn't really having a great time down in Oklahoma and had some friends who were up in Lawrence and said, Chester, you got to bring your guitar up here and, and there's all kinds of stuff going on in Lawrence. So I took the bus up and the bus station was right next door over here. Walked over to this bar called the Gaslight, walked in and went, I am transferring here. <laughs> and, <laughs> and through the form, I transferred and, and uh, started to go to, to school at KU and, and found a real home here in not only Lawrence, but also in Kansas City where a lot of people really enjoyed my music. And what I was trying to do with my music was, which was kind of unique. Um, it's a real honor, and I want to thank Bill and all the board members and all the members of the uh, Kansas Musicians Hall of Fame for inducting me. It's, it is a fabulous honor. Uh, words cannot really describe how, how much it means to me. I'm not a guy who really wins a lot of things. I was at a church social once, and I won a dozen white pair of socks, so I thought that was pretty really good. Uh, this is a lot better. A lot but I would not be here if it was not for my teachers, the people that, that Sister Bernadelle that discovered me when I was six and seven years old and introduced me to cello and piano, uh, to my mother and father who were singers. My dad was an opera singer and they filled my house with music. Uh, this award goes out to them. To, it goes out to my older brother who introduced me to the six string guitar. Um, and to all the people that I've, I've worked with throughout the years, to people at Good Karma Productions, to my good friend and co-producer and engineer, Steve Barncard. Uh, these are all people that really helped me to get here. Uh, I would not be here if it had not been for them. And then later on in life, to, to have the joy to have uh, two wonderful sons with Nancy, uh, and two young guys who actually embraced their father's music, which was pretty cool. They were like, Dad, this is good stuff. And I'll never forget Chet, one day I was working on a new song, and he said, you know, Dad, I'm going, ah, you know, I don't know, I don't want to go in and re-record it again. He said, well, hey, dude, if it's gonna make it better, re-record it. So I have taken that to heart and it's, it's helped me to continue on and to keep writing because I absolutely love music and, I, and if I don't die on stage or with a guitar in a hand, I wanna have at least a five iron in my hand. <laughs> so thank you all very much. This is really an honor and I hope you all have a great evening and uh, congratulations to all the other inductees too. Peace, thank you. Chet uh, moved back to Chicago eventually. I mean, and actually, for a while, he was going back and forth between LA and Chicago because he's not only uh, a fabulous musician, but he's also 
pretty decent actor. You might have caught him in a few movies or TV shows over the years. And uh, he's also written a novel. I mean, this guy's a renaissance man. So we certainly want to uh, acknowledge all of his many talents as we induct Chet Nichols into the Kansas Music Hall of Fame. Our next inductee is this band got together in Dodge City at uh, junior college.